Um, hello, hello everybody, Liz is back here, and today we're going to teach you how to make Twixter, meaning slow-mo for your anime edits, in three different ways. I'm not going to waste time, we're going to be straight to the point, and I hope you guys like it. And yeah, three ways, just because, depending on your editing style, depending on your edit, depending on how you like your, like, um, AMV to look like, we're going to choose one of those three ways. For me, the second way works best. And I would suggest you to do the second way, but yeah, let's hop into it. Okay, so the first way is gonna be just using Twixter, nothing else. Just add Twixter, change two settings, and that's it. Um, basically, all we have to do is to have our clips ready, meaning I have two clips, um, they're trimmed already, and um, they're just ready for slow-mo. So basically I have this clip, I'm just gonna mute them. And basically I have this clip and all I have to do is to right click on it and then click on pre-compose and then make sure you highlight this option move all attributes into the new composition and then you click OK and um, now that you're done with the pre-composing all you have to do is to add Twixter you're gonna move to the Twixter if you're like um, I don't know where that is okay let's search up Twixter and then add it. That is Twixter. Now all those things are typically presets, which I don't suggest you using. Make your thing by your own. I was using those things like four to five years ago, but now I don't use them. And um, yeah, just add Twixter. And you have to change like two things, as I said, the, the import frame rate and the speed as well. Um, but in here, we forgot one thing before like those two things. You have to unhighlight this. NFPS is out FPS. And then you're gonna have to change this to 7 from 29 and the speed varies from like 40 to 100 like sometimes from 25 to 100 it's, it's up to you depending on the clip depending on how you like it um i would assume 80 works here so let's see it let's watch the clip with an 80 speed and if it's perfect i'm gonna move to the next one yeah i think 80 works best here i'm not gonna change anything and um yeah that that works best and um yeah that's done that's it imagine just like in probably 20 seconds i just did it so yeah basically i'm gonna have to mention twixter pro as well um the difference between twixter and twixter pro my understanding is that twixter pro is more smooth more fast more like um it doesn't like slipper in the video like sometimes the video the video becomes slippery and it's the same process like it's not like hard so yeah we added twixter pro we unhighlight this option and then we put 7 as frame rate frame rate and then speed 80 as well i would assume it's going to it's going to look better you would not like um notice the difference but my understanding is, is that it's much better yeah i would assume it's much better yeah, that's the first option. Imagine, it's just like 20 seconds, you can make a bunch of clips. Okay, and now that we're done with the first option, the second option is going to be the same as the first one. It's going to be much, much easy. It's not going to be hard, but we're going to add mo two more things. The first one is keyframes, meaning we're going to add the a keyframe to the middle of the clip, and the first of the clip, and the end of the clip. And um, play with those keyframes, meaning we're going to change the speed from at the beginning from uh, 200 to the middle to 25, and the, then to the end to 250 again. So typically we can easily do it by just like um, looking up Twixter again. Um, we add Twixter Pro to it, but we forgot one thing. We're gonna have to pre-compose the clip and make sure this highlight again. And we add to the clip Twixter Pro. Okay, basically the same process applies here. Disable this, seven is frame rate. And then here we're gonna do it 25. Yeah, it changes. It varies from 25 to 50 but most likely 25 works and we're gonna add a keyframe of speed and then we hop onto the clip and we click U. we press the button you on the on the keyboard to show all the keyframes of the clip so basically it showed us, it showed us the keyframe of 25 and we're gonna start with 250 as we said we're gonna like go from a high speed to a lower speed to a high speed and we're gonna do like 250 again here at the end and we're gonna highlight all the all the keyframes and then we're, we're, we're gonna press f9 on our keyboard okay 
And now go to the graph editor, uh, make sure you're on the value graph, and then just play with the speed graph the way I'm playing with. It's like just the same way. It's not the speed graph, the value graph. I said the speed graph, my fault. It's the value graph. Make sure you're the value graph and do the graph the same as this. And if I want to explain the graph, it's basically moving from 250 in here. Um, if we go like um, frame by frame, it started as 250 and it's going down real fast here. And then it, it remains like from 50 to 25 here. Um, I think you can notice the difference here. Look at the value here, 250 and then became 188 and then became 166 and blah, 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 it, it continues. And from here, it goes from 25 to 250, like that fast, based on this graph. So basically that works best for me. And if we have to look it up, let, let me mute this and this as well. Um, if we look up how the Twixer works, let me just make sure the resolution is better so we can look at it in a much better way. I mean, you can basically tell that it's, it's like, um, how do I, how do I say that? You can basically tell that it started real fast and it ended real fast. Yeah, you can tell that. So basically that's that method works best for me, that this method. And the third method is basically the same as the second one, but it's like a better version of the second one. My opinion my own like preference would be the second option but if you're like um you don't like the second option you can hop into the third one which basically is the three options combined meaning you're gonna add twixer pro and then after twixer pro you need to add like um the keyframes like those like we've done here and we're gonna play with the speed graph like we did the value graph that like we did and then we're gonna pre-compose this okay and then we're gonna do one thing Right click on the clip and then enable time remapping. And then click F9 and then do this graph. And that is it. You are done. Look at this. This can look better most of the times, but sometimes for some clips it doesn't work properly. That's why I don't suggest it, but look, now it's, it looks way too professional. You cannot tell me that's not looking professional. It's way too good here. That's my. That's just my opinion. Um, yeah, I think I'm done here. That's all the three methods. And um, in my opinion, the the second one, the third one, are gonna be the best ones. And um, yeah, that's it. I was not preparing for this tutorial, but I hope you guys liked it, and I uh, I hope I did not mess up. And um, thankfully, thank God, I was prepared not to say like the f word the r word or any bad word because i'm a youtube partner now and they'll ban me if, they'll ban me if i say any bad words so yeah i hope you guys like have a good day and um i hope you guys like learn something today